Okay, so shalom, um, I shall always and tell you, um, callers and peace officer Galawan for those who don't know me. Right. And peace officer Mike was shalom. Right, and um, today we are going to continue the topic of World War Three. Right, we're going to continue that topic. Um, last week I told you all that Putin will get more angry because of the sanctions, and so said was so done. Putin actually said. Um, in a statement that the sanctions that he's getting is a declaration of war. And we, we could only say that because we are the true prophets of God in the school. Right? And I, I said it last week, Putin will get angry because of the sanctions. And he did, he did say that. He said that the sanctions are a declaration of war. Give me the full scripture. Come on, can. The book of First Corinthians, <clears throat> chapter 14 and verse 32. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets you know what i mean when a prophet dies and they get reincarnated on the earth they would come back as a prophet nobody can just be a prophet if you're a prophet in a past life you'll come back as a prophet today it's not just something random that anybody could be a prophet all right give me the article the what, what's in here come on come Right, so we are prophets in the school because when we die and we come back on the earth, we came into the truth. We are prophets of God in the school. That's why we could say that last week Putin would just get more angry because of the sanctions. Good. Come on, Khan. This is an article from ABC News on the 6th of March 2022. Mm -hmm. And it says Top Republican says no fly zone over Ukraine could lead. To the beginning of world war three right so he's saying and uh, okay the president of ukraine say he want a no-fly zone right but the countess um what's his name the, the senator um, uh, marco robio um, he's saying that now nah, we can't put no fly zone over ukraine because that would be the beginning of world war three so you're not just seeing the prophets of god who is us talking about world war three actually hearing the governments talking about world war three so you hear any rumors now so again the pro the um the scriptures is prophesying right the pressure is actually showing uh, the truth the scriptures um continue come on can senator marco rubio vice chair of the senate select committee of intelligence said imposing a no-fly zone over ukraine amid russia's unprovoked invasion could lead to the beginning of world war three I think people need to understand what a no-fly zone means. It is not some rule you pass by that everybody obliged by, Rubio told ABC. This week, anchor George Stenophilus on Sunday said it is willingness to shoot down aircrafts of the Russian Federation which is basically the beginning of world war three right so the reason he's saying here go down we cannot put a no fly zone over ukraine because no, people don't understand what no fly zone is that what he tried to say so he explained now once you have a no fly zone it means once an aircraft fly over your country you could shoot it down and if you could shoot down a russian mam jet or plane that is the beginning of world war three okay. so he doesn't want that America is a scared, NATO is scared, the other countries are scared. You understand? So, this, this, um, the prophecies again is um, prevailing itself. Give me it Joel 2 and um, 10. Come on, come on. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 10. Right, so again, now, the, the Bible was written by black people. It's holy men wrote, wrote this Bible. Black holy men, not an ordinary man like people. Who is in the world but holy men to the lord you understand and when black people just talk we just talk with soul we have a vibe we just talk with we like to talk in heights we like to talk in metaphors all right and when you read in the bible not everything is literal most of the things is metaphors right and joel is one of those scriptures that has the metaphors in it so go ahead come on come the book of joel chapter 2 and verse 10 the earth shall quake before them. The earth shall quake before them. Well, I, 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 read, I, I read straight on to verse 10, right? But if you read from verse 1, it, it was talking about when Christ returned, 
we go be ruling the earth with Christ. So Christ go be giving us that strength. We go be jumping so high. We go be running on walls. You understand? We go be running like horses. So we go have power and we come to take over the earth when Christ returns. Right? So now the earth shall shake means that everybody, all the heathens on them, right, knows that the Israelites is coming for them. Right? So once the heathens on them know the Israelites, the blacks and Hispanic people coming for them, they will be scared. They will tremble. You understand? That way it's talking about um, the earth shall quake. It's talking about the people on the earth, the heathens, go tremble when they see us, the Israelites, coming for them to take over the earth. Go ahead. Come on, can. The heavens shall tremble. The heavens shall tremble. Now there is four heavens. The first heaven is space. That When you're going straight in Genesis chapter 1, I tell you that space is the first heaven. The second heaven is the ozone layer. Right? That, that is in the Bible. The third heaven is a condition on earth. And the fourth heaven is where the Lord dwells in. We call it the fourth dimension. Right? That's where the Lord does stay. So there is four heavens. But this heaven here is talking about the, the people. It means the people who are on top. The, the rich people. The people who rule in the earth. Right? The people who are wealthy. The rich and famous people. Right, those rich and famous people will get scared because they know that the Israelites again is coming for them because we're coming and take over the earth. Go ahead. Come on, can the sun and the moon shall be dark. The sun and the moon shall be dark. Now, the sun and the moon means wisdom and understanding. Right? So when it, when the Bible talks about sun and moon, it means wisdom and understanding. Now, in this scripture here it says the sun and the moon will be dark, which means what? There will be no wisdom and there will be no understanding in this time in here for World War III. Nobody will know what to do. Nobody will know how to get guidance. They won't know what to do. There will just be confusion because nobody will have any wisdom and understanding except the brothers in the ISUPK. All right, um, Itam Wanda? Come on, come on. Good. And the stars shall withdraw their shining. Whoa. The stars shall withdraw their shining. Now, the, the stars shall withdraw their shining, meaning the rich and famous people like, like Jay-Z, um, Marshall Montano, Cardi B, Donald Trump, those are the rich and famous people. Right now, those rich and famous people, they're shining. Everybody know them. You know, and everybody watching them when they, if they post something on Twitter because they're shining. You understand? Everybody watching them. But in this time coming here, which is coming very, very soon, they will not be shining um, at all. Right? They are not going to be famous. Right? They are going to run and hide just like a regular citizen. That is what is going on um, happening in those last days. Right? Um, you could talk on the scripture you were telling me about yeah, today. Come uh, on, mm. and Salakis, uh, and if I mean, mm. we're bringing on so heavy. I understand because a lot of people don't understand the 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 significance of war right and the type of destruction right that, that is about to take place on the earth right it, it, it may not be right now but there's a time coming for the black the hispanic and the native indian man in this time and this is a time for him not to sleep mm -hmm. i understand because he has to understand when things like war happen it, it, look at um recently in the in the news articles that coming out the local news newspapers they're talking about inflation Right? So now the black, Hispanic, and native Indian man needs to find a place to turn to. Right? The, the East Indian man has his organization. The 1% has their organization. Right? The Chinese man has his organization. Where is the organization for the black, Hispanic, and native Indian man? Mm -hmm. Right? And what the officer is bringing out right, is trying to make the black, Hispanic, and native Indian man know that there is an organization for the black, for the black man, the Hispanic man, and the native Indian man. And that is the ISUPK under Commander Jolly Hanna. Mm -hmm. yeah, right, that's why give me second is just 13 and 1. Come on, can. Right, so, so what you're saying is, is so heavy. See, so y'all, it, it has an organization for black people. That is the ISGPK. The East Indians are the, I think it's the Mahasataba or something. So. Come on, can. Right, the, the Chinese Association, the Chinese had a thing. Well, the 1%, we don't know they had a, the, the, the Syrian um, community. Come on, Everybody can. had their own um, organization except black people, right? But you're coming the ISGPK. That is your organization where we could teach other what to eat, what not to eat, how to live. You understand? Um, certain foods that he does get sick. You understand? The, the Lord said not to eat shark. 
all of us, because we, we go into church, we feel eating shark is some wonderful. Because you're saying, Pastor, eating shark. Not knowing the Bible says not to eat shark. You understand? But no, no worry, just come into school and we're going to show you how to keep the scriptures. So when Christ return, Allah will not get burning fire. All right, so go ahead. Come mm -hmm. on, come the book of second Ezra, chapter 13 and verse 1 now this is the book of the apocrypha that we're going in here right now when they get the original king james version the 1611 king james version the apocrypha is in the bible that is the original king james 1611 in the 1800s the protestant church took the apocrypha out of the bible right but once you get the original king james it has the apocrypha in it so we are reading now from the apocrypha and go ahead come on can the book of second ezra chapter 13 and verse 1 and it came to pass after seven days i dreamed a dream by night mm -hmm. so now the, the prophet ezra he was in a dream and the lord was showing him some things go ahead come on can verse 2 and lo there rose a wind from the sea that it moved all the waves thereof. Mm -hmm. So now, it, the, the wind, okay, again is a metaphor. Right? The wind from the sea that moves the waves. That is a metaphor. Right? So the, the, the sea is talking about the heathens. Right? And when I say heathens, I'm talking about the East Indians, the Chinese, the white man, the Africans, the, the Muslims, and then the Arabs. You know, and those are the heathens. Once you are not an Israelite, you are a heathen. Right? So the heathens is the sea. And the wind is the force. So a force now is, is moving all of these heathens into World War Three. The force is the spirit of the Lord that is pushing all of these heathens into World War Three, And that is what's taking place right now with Russia and Ukraine. You know, and they're pushing all these heathens into World War Three. All right, so go ahead. Come on, can verse three, and I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. That the man waxed strong is talking about Jesus Christ. With the thousands of heaven is talking about the two hundred million black angels that is going to return with Christ. Right? Because when Christ returns, he's not coming by himself. Christ is going to return with two hundred million black angels through the sky. And it's going to look like an alien invasion. All the other races, when they're fighting each other, they're going to stop fighting each other. And when they see that alien invasion come, which is Jesus Christ and the angels, they're going to turn to attack Christ. Right? That is, that is the thousands of heaven, the 200 million angels that is coming with Christ. Right? So, um, come on, come on. Good. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him oh mm -hmm. right so that, that is it Come on, three. so now when christ returns right with those angels everybody's going to tremble again because you're going to look like an alien invasion and that is why america has a weapon in space right it started with um i think they call it the project star wars it started with president ronald reagan in 1983 right they have a weapon in space should in case they say it's for um nuclear missiles to stop the nuclear missiles but, but we know that is really for christ right because that that is how ronald reagan started it he talked about project star wars when you saw star wars and the alien that has been the the the, the, the space he said now nah, but we had to set up something in space should in case um some alien invasion took place we, we know the truth right and that i um we all know that the ufo is not really um, an unidentified flying object. We know that a UFO is an identified flying object. A UFO is really a chariot of the Lord. Right? That is a chariot of the Lord. When you see a UFO, don't get frightened. The angel is in that chariot just looking to see who's sinning and who's not sinning. You understand? So don't get frightened when you see a UFO. That is a chariot of the Lord. You just do good by um, the side of the Lord and you will be um, one of the righteous people to count on, on that is right right so i'm um, here yeah, good come on can verse four and whensoever the voice went out of his mouth all day burned at the vo at his vo salakia all day burned at his voice right so okay the voice went out of his mouth means christ was just giving the order 
for this place or for that person to get destroyed. Right? And the angels in the chariot, he's going to burn them with fire. Right? So so when Christ returns, Christ okay, I wanna say Christ gonna be like Putin, but it, it will be like how the order structures with our government. Like Putin, Putin not in fighting the war, Putin giving orders. When Christ return, Christ will be fighting the war. Christ is going to be giving orders to the angels to destroy this one and to destroy that one. Right? That what going to happen. Tell more in that scripture. Uh -huh. Yeah, the Father added some more. Yeah, go ahead. Kaun Kaun, like as the earth <clears throat> fail it when it feel it the fire. Right, like as the earth fail it when it fled the fire. So now, again, you know that you're going to get burned from the angels at the Lord. Because you're getting burned. You know, you know you're, you're, you're hearing Christ's voice. Because you're getting burned. Anytime Christ returns and you're getting burned, you know you hear Christ's voice. You understand? And when you're talking about flee it with fire, the earth flee it with fire, it means like when fire um, burn grass, it doesn't stand up strong again. The grass doesn't stand up strong again because fire doesn't burn it. It will turn to ash and fade away. Well, when Christ returns, that is how humans are going to be. When, f when they get burned with fire. If they get burned with the nuclear weapons to destroy them, Christ and the angels are going to burn them with fire. Go ahead. Come on, come on. Verse 5. Um, give me Revelation 18 and 2. Come on, come on. Right? So you, you all better be prepared for World War III, you know. You all better be prepared. Come in the school, learn the scriptures. Don't, don't, don't listen to no, nobody else. Nobody else knows the Bible. Except us in the ISUPK. Everybody else feel they know the Bible, but they don't know it. Except us in the ISUPK. Right? So you're yeah, good. Come on, come. The book of Revelation. 18 and 2. 18 and 2 right? mm -hmm. yeah. The book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the Great is fallen. It's fallen and it's become the habitation of devils. Right, so Babylon the Great has fallen. So now, when you see Babylon in the Bible, it's talking about America or captivity. And he's saying with a loud voice, it's fallen. Not falling, right, because it's, it's not going to be now for now that America is going to fall. It's going to be rather over a period of time until it's fallen, right? And the habitations of devils is talking about your oppressors right your oppressors black man is the inhabitations of devil you understand the east indians the chinese the one percent the white man you understand them is the, the habitations of devils your your oppressors you understand like we we bring out the truth about the white man um is the devil in the bible christ said it in the bible we didn't say it. we just fallen after christ you understand and thing was is he is elijah muhammad Elijah Muhammad say that um, the white man is the devil and at that time come on, come on. Um, the nation of Islam was popular in the states so instead of everybody saying the Israelites in the ISGPK um, came up with the ideology that the white man is the devil they said now nah, the nation of Islam Elijah Muhammad and them said the white man is the devil only because they was popular at that time right? but the nation of Islam got that from us and we that in the Bible, Christ said the white man is the devil. That's in the Bible. You understand? So um yeah, go ahead, continue. Come on, can and mm. and and the hold of every foul spirit mm -hmm. and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. All right now, every foul spirit now that's talking about every foul spirit is talking about child molestation, is talking about homosexuality, prostitution, drug dealers. That is every foul spirit. I, I mean, like, it has always amazed me as to why it is so easy to get drugs. You understand? And it's it, it, it hard to buy bread, to eat. You understand? Like, like, most of them homeless people on the streets is because of drugs. Most of them on the streets is because of drugs. Right? And the majority of homeless people that is on the streets in Trinidad and Tobago is black people. The majority of them. Because of drugs. And you know why? It's because black people is the only race that is being oppressed on a daily basis by their mother, um, their mother races. 
like wow well, you, you feel it's in the oppressor in um, bangladesh no nah, man nah. they mean them an oppressor in bangladesh now nah. black people has been oppressed that is why we has been taking drugs so we could ease the frustration at what we're going through on a daily basis you know, and it is wrong because the bible says uh, you mustn't take drugs you mustn't smoke weed that it is wrong you understand know, the, the number one people in um saint Anne's is black people because why majority of them smoking weed and they becoming schizophrenia or bipolar so they end up in saint Anne's. you understand know, it's, it's a sad thing but that is the truth and it's always amazed me and you mean to tell me that with all the technology and with all the intelligence right are the people in high places nobody knows who is these drug dealers you know what I'm nobody know who is these drug dealers that that they could go and stop them from selling drugs to black people all this technology and information nobody knows who, who is the drug dealer it's a mystery nobody knows they, they might just hold one or two and uh, and you know say well yeah we, we hold them we catch them with, with, with drugs and, and that is it you ain't not mounted after they get bail, they, they go out on the street, they ain't not mounted after. Right? It's just a gimmick. Nobody in these high places with all the technology and information they have knows who is the drug dealer. You understand? But you know why it is nobody um, pretending that they know? Right? Because in order for them, in order for the other races to rule over us, to rule over black people, they have to push drugs into the black community. And once drugs is in a black community, drugs is there to keep black people oppressed. And the other races could always control us. That is why the other races would always push drugs in the black community. It is to control black people and to keep us oppressed. And that is why the leaders in high places dare not stop these, um, these drug dealers from pushing drugs in the black community. So now because of that now, the number one people on the streets is black people because they're taking drugs the number of people in saint Anne's is black people because we're taking drugs just to ease your frustration you understand so no no nobody could vex with me and give me wrong when i say i am praying for world war three in the morning right because this is a wicked society there's a wicked country we're living in where everybody just hates black people you understand you all have the technology and the power to know who is these drug dealers to stop them but you all free to stop these, these drug dealers. It's only black people being oppressed by these drugs. But you all, you all want black people to continue to be oppressed so that Allah could control black people and have us oppressed. You understand? And, and this is why I, nobody can afford me for saying that. Praying for World War Three, So we could wipe out all of this evilness on the earth and we could start over fresh where black people could finally be at the top. Right. And them other races could finally be at the bottom. And they could feel that how black people was feeling. You know, so give me the next script, Revelation 18 and 3. Come oh. on, Karen. Mm -hmm. The book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 3. For all the nations have drunk, uh, drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Mm -hmm. For what these other races and them um, did to black people... God calls it a cup of fornication. All right, I'm good. Come on, can. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Mm -hmm. So now again, what all them other races did to black people, right? What all them other races did to the Hispanic people and them, God is calling that a cup of fornication. You understand? And we could say all the crimes that you all did. Slavery was one of them. Um, because some black man living um, move or John John or Lavan till it hard for him to get a walk and he had all he passes but because he living in, in um, them so called ghetto areas it hard for him to get a job you know, so you know much of black people I know they have so much of qualification and when they carry it into these um, places to get employment they, they wait in 10 years 15 years they still can't get a walk what, what you want them to do is obviously they're going to end up doing other things to make money which is selling drugs or doing some kind of evilness you understand and again it's because these black people we the only race that have no nation right the other races have a nation you could see the east indian nation which is india 
you could see the Chinese nation, which is China, right? The white man nation, well, he all over. He, he in Europe, he in Russia, he in America. That, that is the white man nation. That, that is his head. That is his heaven. You know, and you could see the Africans nation, which is Africa. You know, and the, the Arabs, who is the Muslims, that is the Middle East. We see in them nation, but black people that came off the spaceships, we have no nation. So that is why all the other races could team up to oppress us. And the only way for us to come out of our oppression, but yeah, like all that again in the school, boy. Right. We go teach all how to come out of that oppression. Once you keep the laws of this Bible, we go come out of the oppression. The Lord is going to um, say, you know what? I give all enough grace, period. He's going to send Christ with the angels, and we're going to take over this earth. You understand? So that, um, that, that, that is what's going on there. Read over um, verse 3. Read over. Come on, can. The book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of, of the wrath of her fornication. Mm -hmm. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Mm -hmm. and right? So the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. So like all, all the mother races does make money off of the destruction of black and Hispanic people. Because if it was not destroyed, we would have had our own businesses right now. Right. And I'm not talking about a business, but a supermarket. I ain't talking about no supermarket or no hair saloon. You understand? I talk about think big. When you read in the Bible, you had to think big on a big scale. I talk about where's the black man international toothpick factory? Where he actually making toothpick and selling it to different countries. We don't have that. The other races have it do. Where's the international car industry of the black man? Where he actually making cars and selling cars to the other countries. We don't have that. What, what, what the most about might do? Buy a car from somebody and then sell it to somebody again. I mean, come on. We the other thing big. The other races doing that though. The other races making cars and selling it to other countries. We don't have that um, um black people because we have no nation. You understand? That is what it is talking about. And since we destroyed and our black leaders are weak, we have to depend on the other races in order to survive. And the kings of the earth does agree with America. The kings of the earth is talking about the other countries. That is why the other countries has never talk about the evils that America does do to black people. Right. Because the other countries does agree with the crimes that America does do to black people. It's only now here in Putin talking about um, America does do this and America does do that. So if he's doing it, it shouldn't be a problem. You know, because he's benefiting, he know. That is why he want to see about it. You understand? And what those um those other countries, I would say the kings of the earth, does agree with what America is doing. You understand? Um give me Revelation six and four. Come on, come. You understand when America put sanctions on Venezuela, mean here no country talk up uh, on it. You understand? And say America white is a paying sanctions on, on Venezuela. Stop it. You understand? The Venezuelans and them is, is, is we brothers and sisters. So we have to love them as we own. Right. And those say that the Venezuelans are even crime because we be self to in crime. You understand? And we, you know why we in crime? Because the other races oppressing us, and they're not teaching us who our God is. The other yeah. races Here's teaching us. Of universal practical knowledge on the commanding is, um, general Yahana. <laughs> we'll be on the street, ninety one point nine FM, every Monday from five PM, bringing you the truth according to the Bible. The ICBK is a non-profit faith-based community organization that will respond to the plagues that's affecting blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. We also have programs such as education, both adult and youth, food distribution, rehabilitation, drug and alcohol. Remember, tune in every Monday on 99.9 FM at 5 p.m. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.